welcome back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. So I'm going to be cooking up our hamburger for the rest of the month. I'm gonna to try to have it all ready and planned out for the month of January. So I have 35 pounds of hamburger right here. When I got my hamburger from last month, I ended up cooking up 20 pounds and that was enough for the whole month. So I'm guessing with 35 pounds, that'll last over the month and into February and that'll be good. And then by then I can buy more and I'll cook that up. So one of the things that I've been doing for the last couple months now is just cooking up my hamburger ahead of time, putting them in one pound bags. For us, we could almost do two to three pounds per bag and you know just use it like that but I found that it's easier if like my kids want to make something or if they just want to cook up one pound of hamburger for tacos if it's just for one kid otherwise if we do like chili and stuff I just need one or two pounds of hamburger and I don't want to put all of that in the freezer and then I have to throw it all out I just found that one pound bags is easy enough to just open up and cook them individually like that or um and just the cooking time is faster than to uh cook what i need drain it out and um do all the extra stuff so i like now that i have time that i can cook everything at one time and just put it in bags i also found that if you use um regular sandwich size bags that you just fill them up and that's around um one pound so i was taking bags like this and just doing measuring it out so two cups of cooked hamburger is one pound um of hamburger so maybe not quite the whole size of the bag but you can just measure it out real quick like just measure it in two cups and then go from there and then just you probably shouldn't have to measure it anymore you could just scoop it in your bags um and you'll already know like where you can um put it up to or like fill up your bags too so i just want to get this done um so i have it done for the month we have some stuff going on this week and i need to get it done before tomorrow otherwise i won't be able to get this done and i do not want a 10 pound big thing of hamburger sitting in our freezer for me to unthaw and do it all over again i don't want to do that so we're going to get this done today i have a couple of hours before i have to go to work to get this done so i'm going to take you guys along with me we're going to cook it up i don't usually put any seasonings or anything on it just because when we do the cooking or like if we do sloppy joes i don't always add the same seasonings to each item that i'm going to be using it for so even if i make lasagna i want to be able to just pull out that hamburger and not have that kind of seasoning or whatever i would have seasoned it with in lasagna or sloppy joes or tacos so we just use it plain or I cook it up plain and then just season as we go. So I'm gonna have you guys um, follow and let me know in the comments down below if you guys do that cook ahead kind of thing. Um, I know a lot of people will do meal prepping or they'll do uh, freezer meals. And for us, we don't always enjoy the same things over and over. So for us to do freezer meals, they probably would just get wasted because we probably wouldn't use them. We like to just have the food ready on hand um, or like even with the hamburger cooked up, that makes it easier for me to just throw something together. Uh, so I like doing this a lot better. But I have 35 pounds of hamburger. This last spring is when I purchased a quarter of a cow and we used up most of that meat. I have some patties left over. I could probably cook them up if we're not gonna use them for hamburger. Um, but I found that we actually need either a half a cow or a little bit more and I didn't do that this year. So I am purchasing hamburger from the store. I think some of these is like 73 to 70, 27. Um, and I know that the higher the number, the better, um, but we're not truly picky uh, with our hamburger. I wish, like I said, we could have did more from um, purchasing, you know, like a half a cow, but this is what we're gonna use and we're gonna get it cooked up today so that I can put this in the freezer. 